Hi, it's Tom for Frank Harvey Hi-Fi Excellence. Today I want to speak about the Inuus uh, Zen Mini Mark II. And so this is the entry level Inuus solution for streaming. So the Inuus Zen Mini's primary function is to act as a NAS drive on the network, which is a network attached storage to something like our router. This makes things very easy using the Inuus because it's a bit more simple to set up than your standard or traditional style NAS drive, which is probably like a Synology or Western Digital. And this is kind of ready to go out of the box. And you just plug it straight into the router. It's very easy to do using our tablet and the instructions provided within the box. It is the entry level uh, unit from Inuus and it comes in a one terabyte and a two terabyte variety and internally it uses a western digital drive for the storage. There's also another good feature that I think is on the Inuus is the fact that there's the USB inputs. These can be used um, to attach an external hard drive to that and then copy the music over onto the Inuus. Um, there's also the functionality to use it as an asynchronous USB output um, and the way you would do this you go USB out of the Inuus and then into an external DAC something like a Cord Mojo potentially or a Cord 2 Qt. We plugged it into a Oppo UDP 205 and I was very very impressed. What you would do once you've done this you download the app well, I use the app that they recommend um, on the US website, which is Orange Squeeze Box. And then you pick this as a server or a player, and essentially it's playing music directly off the NUS, then to the DAC, and then onto your amplifier and out to the speakers. When I go into my phone's browser, um, or you could do this on a tablet, we just need to go to my.inus.com. That will then show us any in your devices which are connected to the current network the device or like iPad tablet phone is is connected to so we've got two options there on our network I'm going to click Zen mini music server once I go into there there's various different menus there's a disk ripper which is obviously going to rip it there's an import which will allow us to import between the other Inuus device on the network or from a USB or hard drive that we've plugged into the, the Zen Mini. Um, there's quarantine for any bad files that it detects or potentially tries to rip and can't. Um, I'll just show the music library. So once I go into this, this then loads up and it will show us all the music that's on there. So we've got our storage at the top and it shows how much we've got free. Um, and you've got artists, albums and genres and that's the, the three main ways that the Inuus organises things so if I just go into artists it will show us images and metadata that it's downloaded from the internet on various different people so I just have a scroll through there and we can see all the different kind of band logos etc. The backup option allows us to back the Inuus up which I always tend to say is a good thing to do um, when you're using a NAS driver and you've got a lot of information on there because it could potentially fail. I'm not going to say that it will but it's always good to have a backup copy of everything. The system information will just show the, the firmware etc. Um, and then we've got the settings um, so there's time zones, firmware versions, the name of the Inuus that we've given to it. So you would rename it if you had perhaps more than one. Um, there is the ripping file format. You could change that between FLAC and MP3. Um, so perhaps set it to MP3 if you wanted more um, quantity of files over the sound quality. And um, there's a ripping mode which is quick or you can set it to... Um, a quiet mode and that does it more slowly and will have less noise um, perhaps distracting you if you're ripping at the same time you're playing music and then we've just got the USB latency modes etc and tidal configurations which is a bit more um, complicated when you were perhaps using the uh, 
the the Inuus um, to play direct from. When we go back to the home page, if we hit the question mark, this will then take us to a database on the Inuus website and it gives us quick start guides and setup guides for all of the different products as well as the user manual and instructions on how to use iPeng for the iPhone and Orange Squeeze for Android and Squeeze Remote for Windows and those are all very very useful so there's a lot of support there from Inuus on how to use this. So when we use the Orange Squeeze Box uh, method of connecting to the Inuus to play directly from it um, we're presented with quite a, a simple layout for the app which is easy to use Mine's defaulted to my music, which shows everything that's on there potentially from artists, composers, it sorts it by albums, genres, etc. Very similar to my Inuus. There's also music folders for playing direct from the device, sending that information then over to the Inuus. And there's also options for apps, so that brings up Cubos, Spotify, Tidal, anything that we might have an account with. We can then send direct to that and it will send it via the asynchronous out. And just the way that it works really um, is setting it up one of the Inuus devices as a player. You would hit players and then it can detect anything that it can synchronize with, um, which is an Inuus device. Um, and, and use as a player. The default one I've got selected is the Zenith Music Player because I used that last time but you can also see there's the option to connect to the Zen Mini 2 and then essentially you would select that as your player go back and then choose any of your music and just play that off and then it will go from the Inuus onto your, your DAC and that's pretty much how to use it. So overall both methods of controlling the Inuos are very very easy to use. So I think the Inuos Zen Mini Mark II is an excellent product. It's definitely very easy to use and it would be an excellent option for somebody considering um, getting themselves set up with a streaming hi-fi um, setup. So I just found it very, very easy to use compared with other NAS drives which um, are probably a lot more complicated to set up and I know that from fact having done that. Um, whereas the Inuus is very much ready to go out the box and there's a lot of support out there in terms of the Inuus website and the databases on there and there's also the fact you can use it in multiple ways so via the asynchronous out into a DAC and it being easy to control via that method and every time I've used it in conjunction with other um, applications which support using NAS drives um, the streamer or the software has just found it straight away so it is definitely the one that would be my go-to um, for ease of use and also for value for money at 799 so if you enjoyed our video on the Inuus please hit subscribe below as there's more videos coming your way and if you want a great deal on the Inuus or on many other products, please visit our website. It is www.highfix.co.uk. Many thanks.